is stress bad for you or is it good for you? Let me show you. It all depends on the timing. So um, if here we have the immune system and down here we have time, what you will see is that for the first 30 minutes of being stressed, it actually boosts your immune system. So here we are at 30 minutes. Okay, so for the first 30 minutes, being stressed actually boosts your immune system. After 30 minutes, it goes down again. After about an hour of being stressed, you're back to your baseline. Okay, so being stressed for an hour will not really make a difference. Being stressed for 30 minutes actually boosts your immune system. And here's when it becomes interesting. If you become stressed for longer than an hour, your immune system actually gets suppressed. So the key to having healthy stress is to make it short, um, you know, ideally less than 30 minutes and ideally not more than an hour because anything longer than an hour is going to suppress your immune system. So what should that mean for you? It's very simple. Try to limit long-term stress, you know, find ways to really, when you're stressed, to think about it, okay, I should really not get upset about this for hours, I should try to calm down again after a certain time limit. So try to learn instant stress relief um, techniques. We can talk about this some other time. And also, um, it's good to actually seek out short-term stress. You can take a short cold shower that gives you short-term stress and actually boosts your immune system. You can do HIIT training, high intensity interval training, and it will actually boost your immune system if you keep it short. So you can even have a healthy little fight with your spouse for 10 minutes. And if you manage to make peace again, you know, and calm down again and keep it under 30 minutes, the being upset and all of that, it can actually be healthy for you. So when it comes to stress, there's no one size fits all. Keep it short um, and it's good for you. When it's longer, it's bad for you.